Hello everyone, welcome to another Exchange 2019 video. My name is Ed, and in this video I want to talk to you about Outlook Anywhere. Yes, in Exchange 2019 you still have Outlook Anywhere. Now you're wondering why am I not talking about Mapy over HTTP, and I will do so in another video, but in this video I just want to mention that Outlook Anywhere is still available and can be configured and it is used for older clients that can't use the newer protocol uh, Mappy over HTTP which will default to RPC. So just like in 2013, 2016 and now 2019 if you look into the Exchange Admin Center, the EAC and you click on servers you can see I've got my two servers here. Obviously in your environment you might have 10, 20, 30, 40 servers depending on how big your organization is. And yes, I can configure this via PowerShell. But for those that are new to Exchange 2019 or new to Exchange overall, you can do that from here as well. So if you double click on a server and you click on Outlook Anywhere, I can specify my URLs here. So for example, I could say uh, the exchange uh, lab.com. Let's say that is my common name, right? Now, obviously, if your load balancer supports SSL offloading, that's a separate discussion which we're not going to deal with in this video. So we untick that and Basic authentication, I know in 365 is retiring, but for those new to exchange, you can use basic or you can use NTLM on the go shed. Just remember your IIS permissions have to match your permissions so that you're not going to have a constant pop up asking for credentials. So I can click save here to save the changes. Now, if I go to virtual directories, let's just choose one server. You'll notice that there is no um, Outlook anywhere here. There's a control panel, there's auto discover, there's your EWS Mappy, ActiveSync, OAB, OWA, and then PowerShell. So, if I wanted to look at the settings for Outlook Anywhere, which is exactly what I've just changed here, on the server, um, So you can see there's the host name that I changed, there's the internal name that I changed, basic authentication and internal clients will use NTLM and you can see IS is basic NTLM and negotiate. You can take out negotiate if you want, there's a PowerShell command to do that. But as you can see, this command gives me or shows me exactly what I did just changed. Now if you're wondering, if I had to go to show command logging here, just to show you, and I'll do this on my second server, is I'll go to Outlook Anywhere and just give it a few seconds and we'll make the change and click save. You can basically see it basically then got the mailbox server, got the client access service, and there you can see it's set Outlook Anywhere, external host name, internal host name, external clients require SSL true, internal true, SSL offloading false, and then the external client authentication method is basic. Now this is a command that you can run from PowerShell to do the same thing. 
just wanted to show you that doing it from the EAC calls PowerShell in the background, runs the command for you and sets it. So if we had to go back to our servers here now and we just run this for the second server there you can see URL was set, authentication and they're the same for both servers. So just to recap, you would need to configure Outlook Anywhere on Exchange 319 if you have older clients that cannot use MAPI or MAPI is not in, enabled in your environment and we'll cover MAPI in a different video. Thank you very much for watching.